Hey guys, William Saunders here. Um, hopefully you guys are having an awesome weekend. So I just wanted to shoot a quick video to kind of just inspire you guys and to let you guys know that we are serious about creating the seven-figure students this year, the six-figure students, and even um, more of the five-figure students for you guys, okay? So for starters, guys, let's go ahead and take a look back and see what I've personally done in 2014 with my um, top primary brokers here, okay? Now, for the start, um, I do have a second account with uh, Boss Capital here, but this account we're basically taking a look at. It's for 2015. So what I'm doing is the 500 into uh, seven figures challenge. For those of you that are on our novice tuition, you know exactly what that is. So basically came in with $500 here, um, made a deposit. This was uh, February the 6th. So if we can take a look at the calendar right now, it's currently February the 15th. All right. So it's the 15th. We already up 10,000, a little over $10,000 with this account. So this was actually taking short-term trades, all right? So keep in mind, guys, that this is not typical, okay? So I don't want to, um, in a sense, hype anyone up or tell you guys that this is an everyday type of thing. This is basically leveraging your winning ratio, knowing exactly what you're doing and kind of your trading schedule, okay? So this is pretty much a, a tough task as well. Starting off with $500, you guys would need to have a certain amount of education in order to pull this off successfully, okay? Now, this is not um, a walk in a park until you guys have some experience, but keep in mind it is very possible. Now, for my Titan Trade account here, which I pretty much no longer recommend using these guys, um, basically I came in with roughly around $10,000 back in um, February. So I had my first withdrawal back here uh, not too long ago, so it looks around October. And then from there, what I went ahead and did is took my second withdrawal here with these guys, okay? So I was pretty confident working with these guys. been almost a year working with them, but I ended up leaving right around $200 dollars in his trading account and what I did was I sent this over to my sibling and allowed her to kind of work something with it to go from 200 to uh, 20,000 in a certain amount we could kind of document it there but she's been having issues with this platform um, just off the $200 so I basically just haven't made any more um, deposit with this broker and I pretty much just left it at that and that balance right there is pretty much where is it at so we're going to wind up just closing this account, and it's pretty much done. But for the most part, um, we put in about 10000 got a little, a little over 250 grand. That's just about correct. All right, so my Trade Rush account here, once again, this is pretty much cleaned off. This is not typical results. As you guys can see, I have put in roughly around... 500 bucks and this was back 2013 okay yeah so this is back in 2013 that i actually put in this amount of money so i really just got started my first huge withdrawal these guys actually canceled with this account so i did have some issues with them and i thought it was just personally me so i set up a second account with the business to see if that would actually work out um, a little bit better and we started taking some small trades from there now right about um 2014 that's when I had kind of like my first withdrawal they started paying again um, roughly 85,000 was taken out sent directly there a couple months later did the same thing didn't want to pressure this account so I wind up taking around 65,000 that was sent to my bank account and then um, right around a little after July August where we had the huge trade one that we actually took out for our social media which is the YouTube that you guys have been keeping track so that was pretty much the largest, biggest withdrawal that they actually processed, so 815000 But, I mean, even if we was to go ahead and say we put in $500 and wait um, a little over a year to come back with uh, nearly 900000 that's pretty still good money, okay? Now, that is not typical, but keep in mind the possibilities are there for you guys to actually duplicate, all right? So let's take a look here on my UK account. And UK was actually regulated, so I was pretty confident with UK here. Um, didn't really have any issues with them until towards the 
end. All right. Now I made a deposit back right before the summer, as we can see here, put in $20,000. So most of the time I'm roughly depositing $20,000. And since it was regulated outside and they were kind of taking USA clients, I, I still just about left it there um, and, and had it grow. So pretty much about five to seven months in, I wind up taking almost 675000 out um, with this account. Now, once again, after that, I just pretty much left it alone. I had to send in a ton of um, documentations dealing with the UK options, especially dealing with the spot options, and I just feel as though um, that it wasn't really worth it, okay? So the starting point, which everyone always asks me, what should I do, what should I recommend? Uh, to be honest, guys, if you're serious about this industry, I recommend putting anywhere from 2000 to $20,000 into your um, brokerage account and then kind of take the information and grow up from there. Now, that's what I did with here. We can see in less than you know eight months that turned out pretty successful. Now, my Trade Rush account, this is pretty much just a long turn run. I mean, it's 2015, so I pretty much grew this account um, for quite some time now. This was uh, just about my first trading account. And then these heightened trade, I've been working with those guys. And I mean, I just came in with half the amount, um, 10,000. They were talking pretty much a really good game as far as, you know, having the best customer service and everything like that. And even um, wanted to trade some money for me, but I didn't allow that to happen. So I went ahead deposit half of my normal amount, which is uh, 20000 so I put in around 10000 and then grew it from there and had the, the accounts go from there, and my first Boss Capital account, which is still growing, that's long term, that's actually under our um, company LLC, so that's going pretty great. Now this one is pretty much my personal one. Basically, it's just me coming in with 500, and I'm going to um, document the challenge of the six and seven figures for you guys. Okay, and this is just basically for you guys that are pretty much non-believers, or you just need to see it happen first before you guys are able to really take it in and do it yourself. So this is what this is for. Okay, so keep in mind, guys, that we are serious. We are focused on creating seven-figure traders this year, 2015, six-figure traders, 2015, and also five-figure traders. But we just need for you guys to be focused enough to follow the process, okay? It's very simple. I mean, it's extremely simple once you guys kind of get it. First thing you need to do is just go over the material, okay? Once you guys go over the material, then we could kind of build up from there, all right? Don't worry about the money. The money is not really important. What's important is the process, okay, of actually um, getting in a trade successfully, the process of following risk management so you don't blow your account, the process of actually controlling your emotions. And, I mean, once you guys get this down pack, you guys are going to get it. And, I mean, no one can take this from you, okay? So this is year after year, whether you guys are trading binary options and then you can step over to trading Forex and then step over into trading futures, all right? Now, I don't trade too much binary now, so I'm just doing this here with the boss. So until then, it's going to be just mainly Forex and futures for me. All right, so just in case you guys don't see me post too much on um, the binary, just understand that I do still trade it, uh, just not as much as I've done in the past, as you guys can see here. I mean, we're talking a nice amount, six figures, seven figures, uh, just for 2014 and these trading accounts all all combined and everything of that nature. So um, it was very fun. And it was very challenging, a great experience. But once again, my whole goal really is to take things to, you know, the eight-figure mark, the nine-figure mark. And you're limited on trading platforms, okay? Unless you guys are using something like Boss Capital to where you can do $7,000 trades. Now, after you come in with about 25000 to to 100000 then you guys can actually uh, get your trades lifted, your trade size lifted. But once again... I mean, I really don't trust half a million dollars inside a binary option platform or even a million dollars, okay, inside there. And that's why I was really quick to kind of just take this money out after I just about made it. I was like done with this trading platform here. All right. So, I mean, 
that's the great part of coming in. You can take a few hundred and turn it into a few thousand. Then you can take some really good money, 10 to 20 grand, turn it into a hundred thousand and a quarter of a million dollars once you guys kind of know what you're doing. Once you go from there, the overall goal in all, in all honesty is to kind of just feed through the other streams of trading. All right. So that's to get into your forks and start to load money into your forks. I mean, we can talk multiple millions into your forks account. All right. Now, unless you guys are working with the um, 24 options where they're really regulated and they're overseas, I still wouldn't put, you know, millions of dollars into a um, unregulated broker here. Definitely. Uh, which in mind, we do have a regulated service coming out. So I don't know if you guys are interested in that to where we can get you um, an opportunity to trade with 24 options and everything in that nature. So but that is a whole entire different story. Now, what I'm finding out about futures is that we can sort of have a, a much more price advantage when it comes to trading futures as well instead of trading forks. So that's why we're introducing that for everyone. So once again, guys, just stay focused, follow the process, forget about the money. Once you guys just focus on, you know, all of the little details and errors and you guys will be able to correct it and get where you want to be at in your trading career. All right. So we wish everyone much success and, of course, happy trading.